So today let's take a look at the lens replacement kit from GoPro since a few months ago I literally destroyed mine and it's looking very badly so check out how we're gonna do this and how it's gonna work out so stay tuned So yeah, first what we're gonna do is just remove all of the things we don't need like the GoPro itself just put that aside and the back door since we're not gonna use that and then just leave everything behind so we can now start looking at the standard housing lens replacement kit by GoPro and see all the things that are in there. So this is for the Hero 3 Plus uh, and GoPro Hero 4 housing. So let's see what's inside of the box and uh, we see first we got a quick start guide like how we are gonna do this and what are the instructions to do this. And then we got the lenses itself so it's just the normal lens you use uh, on your GoPro housing. And then they also include a screwdriver to attach all the screws and, and loosen them so it's really convenient you don't have to look and bother for you getting one yourself. So now take the GoPro housing itself and unscrew all the screws that are in there. And once you've done that it's fairly easy just to take out the lens uh, that's been damaged out of the housing and you can replace it with the new one. So first you have to remove the rubber seal that's inside of the lens. When you don't use this one, uh, there's another one been given with the kit, so you don't need to use that one anymore. And then just leave this uh, lens apart and take out the new lens we're gonna use and also a new rubber seal to close it. So what you're gonna do next is remove all the screws that are inside and just push them out uh, with the help of the screwdriver and just, just get them out of there. And then we're gonna take those apart. We don't wanna use this again. Uh, we use the ones that are given with the kit itself. So let's seal off this one so we don't lose our other new ones and take out the rubber seal since this is the protection uh, for your housing to not get all wet when you're going underwater or something. So let's get that away. And now let's refinish this and put everything together. What you also want to make sure of is when, when you attach the rubber seal that there are no dust particles in the way because this will get no real closure and water can get inside of the housing and we don't want to have that. So to finish this, now it's just basically uh, lining things up and attaching the lens to the housing and then we can get our screws out and re-screw them in and we have a finished product. So the last thing we're going to do is test out the casing if it's really waterproof. And we just uh, open the case and put a little bit of paper inside of it so to see if there are any water leakage coming in. So how do we do this? Well, just place this one in the water for 30 minutes. Just, just use a mug or something to keep it down. And then we'll see if there's any water inside and if we can use this GoPro housing to go underwater. Let me know in the comments below if you had any problems with this. Normally you should be fine because it's not that hard to do. Uh, maybe if you're underage, get some of your parents to help you out and everything will be okay. What's also real good in this one is that you have two lenses inside, so you will always have a spare one in case something else happens to your GoPro. So really thank you for watching guys, it's been a blast making these videos. If you have any ideas for new videos or you want to see something covered, just hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because we have something really cool coming up in the next few months. So see you next time at Lucky Studios.